That's like asking if I have a favorite child. <laughs> Baby tart, no. Uh, <laughs> that's a, no, I mean, there's so many. There's actually one that's coming up that I'm really excited about that we filmed with Sun Tart and Gage. And, uh, are you all right? No. Do you need a drink? Yeah. It's an awesome video. <laughs> that's a good question. What do you think, Sun Tart? What's your favorite video? Remember Epic War? I like all the Epic series. Epic War, Epic... Epic... <laughs> I don't uh, the other. Jedi, whatever that was. Epic War was fun. That was the one that we filmed in our backyard. We basically just got to play with toys for like three hours. And we had to keep, you know, like, Ed Bassmaster came and, and his son was there and him and Suntard were just playing with all the toys. That was fun. It was just like, you know, we played with toys for a couple hours and filmed it and then Sam Macaroni edited it into this amazing video. And, it's really cool. But yeah, we have a wrestling video coming out with uh, Suntard and Gage and stuff that I think is going to be really good. We're working on right now, and uh, I think that's going to be one of my favorites. Yeah, we would love to do scuba diving. Somebody was saying we should go swimming with sharks in a cage. Which, but we are going to go bungee jumping with sharks. Yeah, yeah, we would love to do that. We were surfing the other day just off of Santa Monica, and these sea lions came... And then I, like, the last two nights after that, I had these crazy dreams about sharks. Like, I don't know why, over and over. Because somebody in the comments said... Yeah, I was telling these guys. Because somebody in the comments said, if you see sea lions, it means sharks are near. And I'm, like, I'm not afraid of very many things, but the ocean kind of freaks me out. Just because it's so big, and I feel so, like, helpless in that water. I can't run away. But you sound like you've done it a lot. Okay, you have to take us, me and Casey. Okay, see me afterwards. <laughs> it's cool, actually. A lot of people are like, these kids are going to hate their parents when they get older. But I, That's you know... That's <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. They don't hate us. But it's interesting to be able to go back and to see those things. You know, your life has been documented, and it's cool to see how our family has grown and changed over the years. And to have all those experiences and those life memories there, it, it, it means a lot, really. It's, it's very valuable to have those memories, you know, documented. So we're used to it, you know. Like, some people may see it as weird. Like, well, you're just uploading, you know, family videos of yourself. But we're just... We, we, the, the feedback has been so positive, we feel like it, it's benefiting so many people that um, it's a blessing to do it. Uh, I have a question for Suntard. What was it like playing at the House of Blues? Um, an amazing experience. Yeah, it was cool. I told him before. I said, dude, this stage is like one of the, I mean, almost every rock and roll star has played on that stage at the House of Blues. Just as you go in, you see all the pictures on the walls. So I was trying to like let him, like trying to get him to understand, like, this is a pretty cool thing to be able to stand on that stage and play an instrument, you know. So he loved it. He's a little rock star. Are you going to do some more, dude? Maybe. I guess we'll see. You know what's interesting? I've seen that, that there's like a social media degree that, that is available now, which is unheard of. Like, I wouldn't have dropped out if that was there when I was in college. But, you know, this is a new industry. You know, it's, it's just kind of new. I had a panel the other day, I was saying, you know, we're still a little ahead of the curve, but just barely. Like, this curve is happening now, where this new form of entertainment is taking over the world. So. You know, after you graduate, you know, you should look into any social media opportunities or, you know, colleges that offer those kind of things and just learn the industry and the more you can get to know. A lot more jobs are going to open up. You know, Maker Studios is a great place to work and, and a lot more people want to work there now. It's so crazy to see tweets of like, I want to grow up and work at Maker Studios. It's like, whoa, we just had this idea three years ago and now people want to come work at our company. So that is just crazy. It's weird to kind of wrap my head around that. But there will be a lot more opportunities in this world as time goes on, whether it be web design or you know, social media amplification, knowing how Facebook works is 
you know, really valuable because a lot of people are on Facebook and people want to know, you know, how all that stuff works. So just learning the industry, you know, and there's, I'm sure going to be more and more classes offered at, you know, local universities. Do as much of that as you can and just, you know, be on the internet and know what's going on and then 